and no spend budget is when you take a look at your finances and see if there are places that you can cut for a specific amount of time. It could be a week, it could be a month, it could be longer. As long as you have your why you want to do this challenge, you'll be fine. But if you go into a no-spend month without knowing why you want to do this, the most likely opportunity for you to fail is high. You can take a look at a lot of things. Do we want to cut a few things out of our budget for just a specific amount of time? Or do we want to cut a lot of things out? There are no rules that you have to follow during this, but there are some things that I would caution against. One is to go into a no-spend period of time without knowing what your finances look like on a regular basis. So when you go back at the end of this duration, and I'm going to call it a month from here on out, you can compare your costs during the no-spend month versus a regular spend month. But if you don't have a clear handle on what you spend in each category, it'll be difficult to calculate the savings that you might have had. Forgive me if I look down occasionally because I'm going to check my notes to make sure that I cover everything. So if you've done this challenge, comment down below. Let me know. Did you do it? Did you like it? Did it change your spending habits for any amount of time? Now, as I said before, you can do this for any duration you want to. A week, a few days, a month, and some people have even done it longer than that. What we'll do in this channel is that for our, after our no-spend month, we're going to come back and take a look at what the savings were, if there was any at all. Some things to keep in mind. You have to still pay your bills. You have to take care of the essentials your food, your electric bills, your housing payments, your transportation. All those need to still happen. Also be mindful that emergencies also happen, which could wreak havoc on your budget at any point of time. And so keep those things in mind. One thing that I don't want you to do is go out and buy everything you need the month before. Because that is just, uh, that's cheating. Or spend nothing in one month and then go out the next month and buy everything that you didn't buy the month before. So have an honest look at your budget, see where there are places that you can cut, and then attempt this challenge after you've covered those things. So in the next section we're going to take a look at the rules that you can use. First category we're going to look at is shopping. Maybe you want to cut back on the clothing or have a no clothing budget for that month. Another is taking a look at Amazon. How frequently you order from them. Maybe you want to take a month off from Amazon and not spend anything. Another category is household goods or gadgets. Maybe you don't need that air fryer. Take a while to think about that purchase. Maybe it's not something you need or something that maybe you can wait on or ask for a present later. The next category is energy. Look at your thermostat. If it's in the summer, maybe you could bump that up a couple of degrees from where you normally keep it. Or in the winter, bring it down a couple of a notch, couple of degrees where you normally have it in the winter. Also, use natural lighting when you can. Open those curtains up and take a look at how many lights you have on that are just randomly on in the house that you can turn off. Just be mindful of your energy costs during that time. You may see a savings at the end of the month. Another category is beauty aids. Many of us have a lot of mascara on hand, eyeshadow on hand. See if you can get through the month without purchasing anything new. If you run out though, go ahead and buy what you need. Another category is entertainment, and this is a big one. A lot of us have subscriptions that we don't necessarily use very often, or we just don't find ourselves using them at all. Take a look at subscriptions that are underused or not used, and cut those out. Get rid of them. It's only, it may only be a few dollars a month, but those few dollars can add up. Also take a look at the subscriptions that you have and see if there's some things that you haven't watched on those channels. Maybe something that you want to binge watch. Entertainment is a huge part of a lot of people's budget. Going out to the movie theater, restaurants, those are definitely places where you can save money. Maybe instead of going to the movies, you can have a themed night at home cook a lasagna, watch an Italian movie, maybe a kid-friendly one or an adult-friendly one, and have that as your entertainment. Because if you cut entertainment out completely, you're going to probably wish that you hadn't done this challenge. And definitely, if you have kids in the house, you'll have a full-scale riot on your hand. But look at ways that you can cut on those entertainment costs without actually depriving your family of fun, 
together. Another entertainment cost idea might be have family game nights or looking at cooking copycat recipes from your favorite restaurants. A quick, easy Google search of copycat recipes from your favorite restaurants will give you some recipes that you can follow. And Take a look at unused gift cards. Use those up during the No Spend Challenge. It's not cheating. You already have those on hand. The next category would be grocery. You're going to have to spend money on food. But some things that you can do is try to shop from your pantry. Take a look at ingredients and items you have on hand before making your meal plan for the week. Speaking of meal plans, that's another way to reduce your grocery cost. If you plan out your meals, your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinners, you're going to be able to focus on those things at the store and buy what you need and use up things that maybe you didn't realize you had in your freezer or your pantry. Shop the sales while you can. Plan your menus around the sale flyers. In our area, most of those come out on Wednesdays, and I'll plan the menu according to what is on sale in the flyer. Fruits and vegetables, we know those don't last long in your refrigerator. Those will have to always be part of your rotating budget. You want to keep nutrition in your family, but also try to really look at where your spending grocery goes. There are a couple of sites on the internet, and I'm going to check my notes here so I don't forget what they are, where you can put in the ingredients that you have on hand, and it will tell you suggestions for recipes. One is Supercook, another one is My Fridge Food and I'll put the description up here. So taking a look at typing those in, see what comes out, may yield some recipes that you didn't even realize that you could make or something that becomes a new family favorite. So shopping at the grocery store is a way where you really can cut your budget, though you're still going to have to take care of some food needs. Another tip is to go ahead and declutter. This is a good time to organize, clean out, and maybe even sell some of your unwanted goods that you have just laying around. It feels good to declutter and this no spin challenge is a great time to go ahead and incorporate that. So my question is to you, have you done this? Do you want to give it a try? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. It's a very frugal tip and I'll come back at the end of the month and let you know how our no spend challenge went and what it implications it had on our budget and did it reveal any places in our budget that we could permanently reduce our spending. So enjoy, good luck, and let me know in the comments below how this worked for you.